What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Wednesday. I'm doing good myself. Uh, this video right here I came across is about a brother by the name of Mike Gellin. As a matter of fact, uh, he became a um, commissioner of Tamarack. Okay? And several years before that, I guess, he had been uh, arrested, you know, and where the officer had falsified evidence against him. And everything. Check out what he does to this officer in this video. Then I'll get back with you. Confrontation between a Tamarack City Commissioner and a BSO deputy who was being honored for his service when that commissioner interrupted and announced why he believed he didn't deserve it. Local 10 News reporter Janine Sandwood is live to explain. Janine. Nicole, it turns out that BSO deputy he was getting an award for helping make an arrest of a man wanted for murder overseas. Well, it turns out that deputy also award for helping make make an arrest of a man wanted for murder overseas. Well, it turns out that deputy also made an arrest several years earlier. And it didn't sit well with one commission. It was a regular. Tamarack City Commission meeting honoring the Deputy of the Month, but then Joshua Gallar my, my line. You come down for a second Commissioner Mike Gallen calls the Deputy Joshua Gallardo back to the front It's good to see you again, you probably don't remember me but you're the police officer who falsely arrested me four years ago Reminding Gallardo that he arrested it four years earlier, and then this You lied on the police report I believe you're a rogue police officer, you're a black, bad police officer, and you don't deserve to be here. People inside City Hall stunned. Completely shocked. This was not something we were expecting. It was supposed to be a wonderful morning. We were giving the rewards for the BSO Deputies of the Month. It was supposed to be a good, feel good time. Record show Gallen was arrested. July 19th, 2015, he was a witness to a battery when Deputy Gallardo arrived, Gellin started recording with his phone. The deputy told him he could continue to record, but he would have to move back. Gellin allegedly refused, despite repeated requests, and was arrested for resisting without violence. Gellin says he doesn't want to go on camera, but writes in an e email, When I shared my video with the state attorney's office to prove that I... I did nothing wrong. They declined to file charges against me. I don't want to drag this on in the media. I had a productive conversation with the sheriff yesterday, and I will try to resolve things and move forward. Those comments, though, were in a public forum, so here we are again. Keep in mind, those charges were dropped, but now there is fallout. In fact, the Broward County Police Benevolent Association has withdrawn its endorsement of the commissioner and the mayor says the city may be considering uh getting uh may uh, are looking into whether or not he violated the city's code of conduct we will stay tuned we're in tamarack i'm janine stanley local 10 news <laughs> now as far as i'm concerned you know uh mr gellin he did the right thing you understand uh this Gallardo dude, you know, the police officer thought he was finna be praised for, you know, some arrest that he had made, you know, what have you. But uh, he didn't remember Mr. Gellin right here. So this was a good time to call out Mr. Uh, Gallardo and, you know, his past discretions and what kind of police officer he is. You understand? But as it be, you know, the powers that be don't like the way Mr. Gellin went about things. Okay, and that seems to be a problem that doesn't sit so well with them. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't see anything he did wrong. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to live your life as though we're being watched because we are. This is James and I'm out. Peace.